So in this one, what we want to do is add pagination to our project. So pagination is going to allow us to have multiple pages like we see here in this example um, for our actual project. So once we have a lot of items coming in our blog, we want to actually have pagination as you've seen in other projects. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh and get rid of that. And you're going to do a quick Google search for Angular Utils pagination. So just Angular Utils pagination. And that should bring you to this actual project itself right here. So Angular Utils and it's Michael Bromley. So Michael Bromley actually created this, um, but this actual JavaScript that we're about to do will be on our GitHub repository as well. For some reason, if you can't find it or it's no longer supported, if it's not supported anymore, I'm sure Michael will actually have something written here to find something else. But seems like he does some updates for it because he has an Angular 2 version here as well. And that's another thing. You want to make sure that you're using the Angular 1 version or Angular JS version 1.5. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and jump into the derpagination.js. I'm just going to go into raw here. We're going to save this file into our project. So desktop triangular source JS. And I'm going to make a new folder called external just for our external apps and dir pagination. We'll just put that in there, go into our project and index.html. I'm just going to copy one of these scripts in here and just bring it in. So external and then dir pagination .js, as we see here, dir pagination. Very good. Looks like that's all set up fine. Now we want to actually add it into our module and to do this, we can use the actual documentation that they have, or we can look at the code. So if we look at the code, we see module name here is angular directives, angular utils dot directives dot So I can actually paste that in here and now it should be set up. So that's the name of the module, just like we've named our modules, something else. This is how they named their module. Cool. So now that we've got that, let's go into our blog list and really easily we just do dir pagination instead of ng repeat. So dir pagination takes over ng repeat, but it still works with pad, um, ng repeat. So if we had filter, so this filter here, which is something we'll look at in a second, um, can also be used here. But there is something we definitely need and that's items per page. And I'm gonna say four. Remember these are columns. so. This is the column, each column is, a, is essentially a row, right? So there are two, like if when we did two, there's two columns in a row, if we did four and so on. So that's something that we wanna definitely consider is how many rows are we having here, right? So or how many items in each row and that's how many we wanna adjust for per page. So in this case, I'm gonna say four and then I wanna actually add in the controls for it. So the pagination controls and it's really simple dir-pagination-controls and we close off dir-pagination-controls. Save that and let's go into our project. Refresh in here. Looks like we had some sort of issue. Let's go and take a look at our console real quick. Pagination control, Can I, we don't have the dir-pagination set up correctly. So let's look at the documentation and we're going to come in dir paginate is actually what it is not dir pagination but dir paginate very good and we refresh and now it works again it's back to what it should be now this is cool so i can actually go to different pages if i see here i just click on it and it takes me to different pages pages don't adjust up here but that's okay we can just scroll through here and now we have that pagination and then I can still filter items. Notice that I filter it and I click next. There's still empty pages here. So what I wanna do is actually change this filter. So I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna put it right above. And let's see if that filter actually works better now. So I'll say title and it doesn't change. Well, this is a little bit of a problem and this is where our two features aren't working as we might like. So to overcompensate for this, we want to change how our pagination controls are actually shown. So basically, if there's a query, we're gonna hide them. So ng if, and we'll say query length is greater than zero, 
then we will actually hide them. So let's come back in here and do item. Eh, it looks like this is not working as expected. So let's go back and check out our console. So we will, we might need our query. Yep, that should work. All right, let's try that again. We'll say item. And this should be ng hide, not ng if. Try that again, and we'll say title. And there we go. So the pagination controls go away when we do that little search. Otherwise, we can just go through and paginate our items. Cool, so that is our solution for pagination. Now, of course, if you did have just one long list of items, which I think we still do, so if we look into our blog list component, we should still see our items actually set up. Let's see, we have scope.items here. So let's see items, and we'll just check it out real quick. So I'll say items, refresh, and yes, all that stuff's still coming through. So I'm just gonna do a list element here just to kind of show you how we can do the um, actual repeat in another way. So we'll do dir paginate equals to item in items. Close off that list element. And this will just be item.title. Okay, so we refresh in here and we wanna make sure that we have items per page and I'll say, now I'll say 10. So I refresh in here. Notice there's gonna be 10 items in, on that list. If I change it to five, there'll be five items there. And if I go to the pagination, does it change everything? It seems like it does. Well, this is kind of a problem. So these are two different paginated things. They're not the same. So we actually wanna change how our pagination works. So if we look back at the documentation, we see that there's the ability to write a pagination ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that attribute here and we're gonna paste it in and I'm gonna say pagination ID main page or main um, content, let's call it that. And then I'm gonna just copy this same thing for our actual pagination control. So we just do that and let's come back in here and refresh. Now if I change this, notice this pagination does not change, but the bottom one does. That's good. So that also means that I can come back up here, make new pagination controls, and I'll say subcontent and subcontent refresh here. And now I can paginate both things however I'd like. And of course you can add in the query if you'd like. So let's add in the query, refresh here, and we do that. I can do a query. The other thing that I can do, which is really nice, is I can add this as post items. So I can actually see how many items are inside of the pagination. So we can come down here and say span ng dash if post items dot length equals to zero. And we'll say no items found. And we close off that span refresh no and then we see no items found hey that's pretty cool so we could do that same thing again with the other one put this down here and this one instead of calling it post items we'll call them main items and made items dot length and oops we've got potentially a little issue here let's see the console see what's going on possible that the order of these being in here is backwards and it shouldn't be that way. So let's put items per page last and try that again. That seems to solve the problem. And we'll put in some filter. Notice that it says no items found twice. So we could just say no main items found and no sub items found. Cool. So this is useful for many different reasons. Number one, this could be on the sidebar now. So this could be something that's like over here when you're looking at any, any given post. You could actually have a sidebar here with other post items. That's pretty nice. Um, and you can still paginate through them and see various things and you'd still be able to filter through them as well. So they have slightly different filters. So this one should not be being filtered 
for some reason it is showing up, but that's peculiar. And it might be just because of how we actually did this filter. And if that's probably what it is, is the new, this title, this actual item is in the same column as that item. And that's why it's probably showing up. And again, one of the disadvantages of, of this method in particular, that it's not gonna be perfect as far as the filter is concerned, but it still works as far as the layout is concerned. And those two things are a little bit tricky, but the main thing here is that the fact that we can get the layouts working as, as here, and also the pagination working together and the filter working. It's a lot of things working at once where um, if you eliminated some of these features, it might improve the user interface. In fact, the only reason I showed you how to do this is because you might wanna do this somewhere, not necessarily with pagination, but you might wanna have all yours in columns just like we did here. Okay, so if you guys have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.